We just got word that SpaceX, the company behind the global constellation of internet providing satellites, just made a $17 billion acquisition of Echostar Spectrum. And this is a huge deal because it's going to allow for the very first time direct cellular connection to this network of internet providing global satellites. And once this rolls out, it has the potential to overnight make existing ground-based wireless networks instantly obsolete. Now, to give you guys some quick background knowledge here, SpaceX began launching Starlink satellites over five years ago, and they are rapidly approaching almost 10,000 operational satellites. And as of mid-2025, they have over 6 million paying customers that enjoy average internet speeds over 100 megabytes per second. So this network of high-speed global internet satellites is not theoretical. It exists right now, and it's proven to be a very effective way of providing a wireless connection. Now, the reason why this hasn't yet replaced wireless carriers such as T-Mobile, Verizon, is because in order to access this network and the data, you need to have this base station. And this is what directly connects to the satellites and provides you with a, a Wi-Fi network. And this is super effective for home-based Wi-Fi networks, but it's really not so ideal for replacing mobile phone carriers. Although I do want to mention that these base stations have been going through their own set of upgrades. And this right here is the latest version. It's the Starlink Mini. And it's at the point now that it's small enough to fit in a backpack and be powered off of portable battery banks. And that means that now if you want, you can have this kind of portable Wi-Fi hotspot that connects to the satellites. But I think it's safe to say that for the vast majority of people, if they want Starlink to replace their mobile carrier, they need to have a direct connection from their phone to the satellite constellation. And that's why this $17 billion deal with Echostar is so important because it finally, for the very first time, allows this to happen. So in this deal, SpaceX isn't buying the company, but rather their highly valuable license to roughly 50 megahertz of the broadband spectrum. And the key thing here is that this is a range of the spectrum that smartphones can natively use. So there's no need to have extra hardware. And according to SpaceX, this in combination with a few updates to the satellites themselves will finally allow for direct to cell operation following a normal 5G protocol. So from the perspective of a consumer, this is going to be indistinguishable from a nice 5G network, but instead of connecting to a local antenna, you're connecting to this network of global satellites. Now, some of you guys might know that as of right now, there actually is a limited way to connect phones to Starlink, and that's via the partnership they have with T-Mobile. This cooperation has been allowing for a very limited amount of direct connection to Starlink's network. But now in the future, thanks to this deal, this connection is going to be much more expansive and there's going to be no need to go through a third party like T-Mobile. And finally, when it comes to pricing and availability, as of now, we have no word on when this is going to be available. However, SpaceX does have a history of developing things very quickly. And Starlink is a very crucial component of SpaceX's business model because it is the main revenue generator for the company. So I can see them bringing this to market as soon as possible. And just like with the current Starlink network, there should be multiple plans to choose from when this service becomes available directly to cell phones. So for instance, right now you can buy Starlink with unlimited data, 50 gigabytes per month, or even a new standby mode, which is only $5 per month, and gives you unlimited data at a speed of half a megabyte per second. So SpaceX could get pretty creative here when it comes to the plans that they offer. But definitely let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.